QuickBooks Online 2021 Customize Invoice Email Settings. Let's get into it with Intuit. QuickBooks Online 2021. Here we are in our QuickBooks Online practice file, continuing on with our customization of our invoice by going to the cog up top. We're going to go into our uh, custom form styles, the custom form styles. We've been working on template one invoice. We're going to continue on with that. We, we looked at the design settings, which is going to be the basic layout here in the design, this beautiful color that we have with our logo up top then we have the content information where we get down into some more of the details in terms of the content where we had three separate items or sections that we could then take a look at some of these possibly having a change or remark resulting in a change to not only the layout but the data input format of the invoice now we're taking a look at the email oftentimes the invoice these days being emailed what's going to be the look and feel of the email that we send to our customers so we have up top here how your invoice appears in the email obviously on the right hand side we got the um the preview of the email that it's going to look like so if we scroll down through here we got the you know the email information the subject line the from this is going to be uh you know our email address we've got the nice logo up top very professional looking item and then we've got the due date the amount uh the print or save and then we've got our greeting down below, dear customer, full name. So we could change the, the name and whatnot, who we're going to be addressing to. Here's your invoice. And we got the exclamation mark. Uh, we appreciate your prompt payment. And so there we have that. And then the information then down below detailing the invoice and then the print or save. And then the information down below and they give you the little QuickBooks thing as well. So that's going to be the full view. Let's take a look at the summarized details. So if we go to the summarized detail, a bit more compact here. It might be a little bit nicer or cleaner to look at. Let's take a look at it. But of course, less detail. Although we do have the PDF attachment, we are assuming that they can get, go to the PDF attachment for the full invoice uh, information. So now we've got the same kind of start here. We've got the bill up top. We've got our nice uh, logo and then once again, we have our little greeting down here, dear customer, full name. Here's uh, here's your invoice, exclamation point. We appreciate your prompt payment and, and so on. And it's a lot more brief. We don't have the details of the invoice then down below. We can either include the PDF attached or not here. Then we've got the standard email that we would then be sending out. So we have the, the invoice. Notice the invoice number being in brackets. Believe that would mean that it's going to be including the invoice number and the brackets meaning it's just whatever the invoice number will be it will obviously populate the inv invoice number that would then be appropriate and then it says from bookkeeping which is our misspelled name <laughs> that we have there but that would be like the company name obviously you could change the subject just make sure that if you change the invoice number you're being careful that you change it in such a way that if you want the invoice number it'll pick up the invoice number meaning you need the brackets and whatnot around it and then we have the greeting down below so if you want the greeting to say dear or two or something like that, then you can change the dear or two, whichever you think is going to be more appropriate. And then you can include either the first and last name. You could say that you just want the first name to be a bit more personal if you like that kind of uh, feel with the company or possibly the company name. If you want the company, dear company name or two company name, possibly if you don't have a particular name or if you want to be, be more careful about it. Or something like that or you can just remove the greeting altogether and just get right into it and say here's your invoice exclamation point so you can then say that obviously you can customize the message down here keep it brief or as long as you would like so here's your invoice i would put a period there so i'm not yelling at people and then we appreciate your prompt payment and then have a great day and then and then bookkeeping obviously we could we could add more information our own style to the text of the email then we have the reminder information if we need you know a reminder down here and again that would be a, a standardized kind of, of message that we could then prompt so we're sending a reminder to let you know that invoice and then it gives the invoice number in brackets once again indicating that it should then pick up the appropriate invoice number has not been paid if you already paid this invoice or have any questions let us know and again, I, I don't really like yelling at people. I mean, I don't know. But then, and then it would be have a great day and then bookkeeping and bookkeeping probably should spell our name right. And then we have, and then we have that. Obviously, once again, you can kind of customize the, the, uh, 
your messages to make them as, um, you know, customized at, to your liking as well. So now if I close this out, if we say done here, we're going to say done. And then we might want to make this one, this template then, let's make that the make it the default invoice. So that's going to be the default invoice now. Therefore, when I go then to my create an invoice, and I'm going to say new, and then we're going to create the invoice. So here we have the data input. Once again, you might not be able to tell that the invoice is different from simply the data input. Although, as you can see, it has changed from, from the default settings because we do have like the billing address and the shipping address down here and whatnot. And so you can see possibly some changes down here below, but you can't really tell exactly what it's going to look like because we don't have that nice yellow or our logo on it and whatnot until you actually see the template of the invoice, uh, meaning you actually like see the PDF of it, the thing that's going to be sent out, not the data input form. Now down below, we could see if we go to the customize area, we're now checking off the standard one, which or not the standard, but our default template now not being the standard, but the one that we created if we compare it so now let's take a look at that item the, the template and let's see the preview on it so if we go to create or, or print to preview, let's we got to add some data first i'm going to say this is going to be customer one and then we'll just add like a, an item here so item one and it was for uh, a rate of fifty dollars okay and then we're going to say print and preview and so print or preview so we'll check it out and see what it looks like. Should have a nice yellow form with our logo up top. It looks wonderful. I'm going to make it a little bit larger here. And so there's going to be our, our custom invoice that we have set up.